wanted to show you how you could create some bookmap bubbles. The very popular bookmap software, it's got these bubbles that come in when there's heavy sellers and heavy buyers. I've kind of recreated that look with my volume delta indicator from Ninza. It allows me to print these dots of various sizes depending on how much delta is coming through. And these delta thresholds are completely customizable. To get more of the book map feel, I've got this on a 300 tick chart. This is a micro NASDAQ 300 tick chart. This is this morning's price action. I've got the solar wind indicator printing the candle colors. I've got it on a custom super short time frame. The settings for the solar wind are 0.5 for the multiplier trend and a number one for the multiplier stop. Everything else is the same, and I just have it printing the bar colors. I always got my innovative ordering buttons on the chart. And then for the volume delta, for the strong I've got 100, moderate I have 50, negative strong is minus 100, negative moderate is negative 50. And I've got it displaying the plot, this histogram below. So having this smaller time frame, you could use this in conjunction with some of your other time frames, and you could use this smaller chart with the delta bubbles to better time your entry points, and also to possibly get out of a trade if you see a bunch of delta coming in in the opposite direction. This is this morning at the New York Open. See, we're getting our solar wind green, getting some strong and moderate dots. And then around here, we might want to think about getting out if we were in a long solar trend turns red. We get a bunch of negative delta coming in. I don't need to go over all these examples. It's pretty easy to see how this is catching the red and green waves here. We're staying mostly green on this big move up at 10 o'clock after the news. Then around 10.08, we're getting a bunch of negative delta coming in. We're also breaking below this recent low back here. Get some more delta coming in. Get a nice little reversal there. We see some strong delta coming in. Solar wind is turning these candles green. Might be a good time to exit if we're still on a short there. Get a nice push back up. And this whole chart here is from 10.06 to 10.15, just under 10 minutes. So if we were normally trading on a one minute chart, this is kind of looking in between the candles. Catching some nice moves down. 12.30, get a nice turnaround. Bunch of delta, red solar wind candles before we turn green again. Here's around two o'clock, still catching some nice waves up and down. There's 2.30. You could use this same setup on a higher time frame too. Have a higher time frame as a confirmation of the longer term direction. Here's a big move after three. So we've got a lot more negative delta than we do positive delta. You can see that on the histogram too. These up moves are not overtaking the previous up moves in the delta, but these short delta moves are overtaking previous short delta moves. Then at 3.15, we start to get some strong delta and our solar wind is green. Right back here, we got one little blip of strong delta, but our solar wind is still red. Definitely love this combo of the solar wind and the volume delta. Like to have both going in the same direction. Here we get some strong delta and a green solar wind. And that's when we start to make a nice retracement. Here's towards the end of the day, 350. Just follow the bubbles. Here's yesterday morning, 10 o'clock. You just look at the bubbles, see which side of the market you'd rather be on. Look at all these red bubbles. Price just keeps drifting lower. So that's just yet another way you can use one of my favorite combos, solar wind and the volume delta.